Surprised it took me so long to come up with this one. Um, we all know that the experience of using Craigslist is one of the most abysmal on uh, today's internet, uh, beyond the 2% chance that you don't make it out with your life when you go to participate in a transaction started on Craigslist. Um, the whole thing just feels like it's from 1998. Now, uh, like I said previously in the, in the Reddit redesign, these kinds of raw HTML, very low grade CSS experiences are actually very highly usable. And, and that's kind of the same paradigm for, for Craigslist here, right? It's, it does look and feel extremely dated, but it's actually kind of okay to use, right? So what I want to challenge myself to do today is to redesign Craigslist's UX, kind of the information architecture, how things are laid out on the screen without changing the too much about like the font, the colors, and just the general aesthetic, because then it wouldn't really be Craigslist anymore, right? It'd be really easy to just make another job listing app, uh, but I wanna make it Craigslist look and feel without all the usability flaws that come along with it. Some of the things that I generally don't like about the Craigslist UI is uh, the sidebar here has lots of just unnecessary checkboxes that are kind of really confusing and don't make a lot of sense to users. Um, things like uh, bundle duplicates, uh, telecommute, why, like there's, there's lots of controls over here that don't make sense. Um, there's a lot of kind of spam going on with the metadata on the individual post listings themselves. They're not really leaning on best practices and design heuristics for a lot of the controls that are available for users to interact with. So there's a lot that can be done to improve the user experience of Craigslist. And we're gonna take a stab at actually doing that. So as always, we've got the uh, style guide here with a standard palette of blacks and grays. Always wanna work with a lot of different grays in your designs. We've taken the really harsh blue that they're using for their links, the Craigslist purple, a red accent, a green accent for error states and, and uh, success states. And the typography, um, instead of using the default fonts that they're using, I'm actually changing things up a little bit and I'm using a font called Freight Text Pro, which is a very, very easy to use, um, highly legible serif font. And I really want to experiment with trying to make this UI work using exclusively serif fonts, um, just because it's, you know, more of a challenge in the design side of things, but it's also quite fun for me. In addition to the style guide, we've also got these user stories here. What do I really want to do? What do users want to do when they're using Craigslist? Well, for me personally, I want to find relevant local design gigs. And in order to qualify those individual opportunities, I need to know whether it's a contract or salaried role. I need to know if it's remote, I need the location details, and I need to know when the job was posted. If it was posted a year ago, probably not going to waste my time applying. I also need to be able to search for uh, relevant local design gigs with just like basic text strings, job type, location, swap between locations if I'm maybe in a different location for a short period of time, and then ultimately post a listing of my own if I want to recruit someone or subcontract some, some design work. So that's it, I'm gonna get stuck in. First, we're gonna build out a cheeky little wireframe and then make Craigslist great again. So I will see you on the other side. Sticking to the theme of keeping things looking more or less like Craigslist, I'm keeping this left sidebar. And there's also a lot of established design heuristics where people kind of understand that filters on the left control content on the right. So. It's kind of a good win for the UX. Gonna just uh, keep that there and reorganize everything around it. One of the biggest problems that existed in today's UI is that there was no way to just quickly switch between different locations or categories. So instead of having those really elaborate clunky drop downs in the breadcrumbs, just move them over to the sidebar where they're intuitively supposed to be and gave them their own space. I actually really liked the controls that Craigslist had today to indicate a distance radius from the 
potential location that the user selected. This is an intuitive way to kind of handle the question, how will I know if I can actually commute to this job? So I wanted to include that, but then also include the special case for remote work, which wasn't accounted for in uh, the existing UI. You'll see I'm scratching my head a lot here because I'm kind of thinking through how people would approach an employment type control. And then I'm realizing that it might make sense that people might want to look at only part-time and contract roles. So having a series of check boxes makes more sense than the radio button. This was a very interesting part of the UI to redesign uh, because in the existing UI, there's like tons of drop downs for each subcategory and every category in the breadcrumbs. And although I like the idea of having one single drop down in the in the breadcrumbs to disambiguate between different categories, having three or four of them was just total, totally unnecessary. And I figured if we're going to have some kind of drop down experience, we could just include the the categories themselves, the parent categories in that menu and then let users select through them here as they see fit. As I'm adding the metadata here, I want to share a quick tip with you. If you ever want to put some metadata on an object, something that describes like publish date, author, things like that, and you also want to include iconography, generally speaking, you want to make the icon slightly grayer than the text, um, but not too much. You want to kind of imply to the user that it's different visually, uh, but not two different so it needs to be a more subdued version of the actual text color and if you try that 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 heuristic works most of the time And as a designer, this really does sting, but every now and then you have to kill your beautiful design when it just doesn't work in context. And here you'll see, I'm realizing that these big, bold um, category switchers in the title itself are just way too distracting. And uh, I'm just getting rid of them altogether to just simplify the overall experience. And there we go. I uh, quite like this. I quite like it a lot. I think it it really does do um, kind of a subset of what existing Craigslist can do. But I see this all the time in design where sometimes when people just when people first start getting into the whole ecosystem of listening to your customers, they listen a little too much. And whenever anyone asks for like an oddly specific feature, they'll just throw it into the UI which confuses the experience for everyone and doesn't necessarily solve the problem that they were uh, experiencing when they you know, requested that particular feature. And I think that's the case with Craigslist. There's so many controls all over the place. It ultimately confuses the experience and makes it harder to just find like a good job <laughs> or a good, uh, a good listing on here if you're like selling your couch or something. So overall, this is just kind of a subset of what you can do on Craigslist. It's dramatically reduced, but I think it makes it overall more effective and I think we're sticking true to the, the Craigslist aesthetic as well. There's there's that same standard, almost like default HTML look that, um, you know, actually is very highly functional. I and mean, I think it, it works quite well um, in certain situations. And a job board is one of those situations where it could work. But anyway, if you think this is crap, let me know in the comments. And uh, please do uh, suggest uh, any other content for me. I'm running thin on ideas. And I did uh, trim my beard for this, so I feel like you do owe me something in return. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a lovely week. I'll see you next Tuesday.